Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the drain hose on your dishwasher. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the dishwasher from the cabinets. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power. If your model uses a cord, simply unplug it. If not, locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. You'll also need to turn off the inlet water supply, and depending on the length of the hose, you may need to disconnect it from the inlet water valve on your dishwasher. As well, you'll need to disconnect the drain hose from the sink outlet, and you may also need to disconnect the power supply directly from the junction box on the dishwasher. Lastly, you'll need to detach the mounting brackets from the top of the dishwasher that secure it to the bottom of your cabinet. Once we've done that, We'll pull the dishwasher completely out of the cabinets and then we can do the repair. Now with the dishwasher removed from the cabinets, we pulled it out and we've taken the bottom rack and the cutlery basket out of it, laid the dishwasher on its back, and next we're going to disconnect that pump outlet. Simply squeeze the clamp, pull it up onto the hose. Now, there will probably be some water in this area when you pull that hose off, so you have something there to clean that up. Remove the old hose. And we'll take the clamp off because we're going to reuse that. And we'll also need to remove the clamp that attaches to the extension hose because we'll be reusing that as well. Now, while we still have the dishwasher lying on its back, we'll attach the new drain hose to the pump outlet. We'll start by installing the clamp onto the hose first and slide it up onto the elbow. Make sure we have it pointing in the right direction and we'll slide the clamp down into position, make sure we don't pinch that wire harness. We can then feed that hose out through the side. At the same time, we can reconnect the clamp for the drain hose extension. Simply going to slide that all the way up onto that fitting until we're ready to attach it to the extension. Now with the hoses, both hoses tucked out of the way, we're going to stand the dishwasher up. Now before we can route that drain hose up through this drain loop, we'll need to go inside the tub and remove the nut that secures that siphon brake to the side of the tub wall. And next, using a pair of water pump pliers, we're going to loosen this plastic nut, turning it counterclockwise. Try not to let the wrench slip on that so we don't damage it. Once we remove that nut, we can go back to the side of the tub and we're going to lift that siphon brake away from it and reroute that hose. So just carefully pull that siphon brake away from the tub, unclip the hose from the top. Remove the old one completely. Now we'll take that siphon brake and we'll clip those cutouts on the hose. We'll do two side mounts. Reposition that gasket.
put the third cutout into the metal bracket on the tub. And then we'll open up that door and reinstall the retaining nut. Just make sure that inner surface is free of any debris. Carefully line up that retaining nut so that we don't get the threads crossed. And then tighten it using your pliers. Once we have that tightened securely, we can line the dishwasher up, get it ready to put back into the cabinets. Now with the dishwasher back in the cabinets, we're ready to put our lower rack back in place. And before we close the door, we'll reattach the mounting brackets to the bottom of the cabinet, and then we can close that up. Now with the dishwasher pushed back into place, we can secure it to the bottom of the countertop, reconnect our inlet water supply, check for leaks, we'll also reconnect our drain hose and our power supply, turn on the power, and your repair is complete.